no time for quitters. You want me to play, huh? I want you to be a hockey player! I am a hockey player! I think that'll get him going. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings. We rank movie trailers, and since today is Sunday, we're actually going to take a look at a classic movie. And with the Olympics starting this week, we thought it would be a great opportunity to look back on what some people consider one of the best sports films in film history, and that is Miracle. This is the story of the 1980 gold medal run that the men's Olympic hockey team went on. And so do you want to know where it fell on the leaderboards? Well, just stick around and find out and see where it scores. But before we do that, post in the comments below and let us know what you think the best movie, sports movie, in film history is. We want to hear from you. All right, let's get on with it and watch the trailer. Want to hear an amazing story? Back in 1960, Coach Brooks was on the Olympic hockey team. But a week before the games, his coach cuts him and sends him home. And that team went on to win the gold medal without him. Herb Brooks had given up his dream of Olympic glory <laughs> until 20 ordinary kids. Why'd you want to play hockey? Isn't it obvious for the girls? Gave him a second chance. The Soviets win. My goal is to beat them at their own game. Beat the best team in the world. Gold medalist in 64, 68, 72, 76. Name? Mark Johnson. Buzzy Schneider. Mike Ruzioni. You're missing some of the best players. I'm not looking for the best players, Craig. I'm looking for the right ones. They were bitter rivals. A lot of guys from Minnesota and Boston. Yeah, that's gonna work. But one coach had a plan to turn them into a team. I got no time for quitters. You want me to play, huh? I want you to be a hockey player! I am a hockey hey. player! I think that'll get them going. Oh, yeah. When you face the impossible... Russian's main weapon is intimidation. This guy's ever swell? They're Russians. They get shot if they smile. And you refuse to give up. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Yeah, you did. We start becoming a team right now. Miracles can happen. When you pull on that jersey, the name on the front is more important than the one on the back. Michael Ruzioni. Who do you play for? I play for... United States of America! Welcome to the Olympics, gentlemen. Walt Disney Pictures presents... This is something that this country is ready for. Great moments are born from great opportunity. If we play them ten times, they might win nine. But not this game. Listen to it. We can beat these guys. Discover the story. This is your time. Behind the greatest moment in sports history. Believe in miracles. Yes! All right, hey, if this is the first time you've been to our channel and you want to know more about our system for ranking and scoring trailers, we made a video for that. You can click on that in the upper right or down in the description below. In order to rank this trailer, though, we first need to identify some of what we call critical non-factors. These are things about the movie, not the trailer. So we want to rank the trailer, whether or not this is a good trailer, more so than whether this is a good movie. And so one of the things that's going to come along with this movie is that it is a sports movie. And so there's going to be plenty of sports tropes, even though it's based on a true story. There's still going to be some embellishments, things that if you watch a lot of sports movies you're going to see here we're going to set those aside and not let them try not to let them color our perception of this trailer our scoring in the trailer also uh it's you see a lot of deconstructing of nationalistic pride these days when this movie was made and certainly uh when this movie took place in the 80s at the end of the cold war you didn't see that. It was sort of a simpler time. You're going to see a lot of rah-rah USA stuff here, and, and that's part of the story. So we're going to set that aside, too. And then lastly, I was watching this trailer, and I saw this guy, and I thought, oh, look, it's Biff from Back to the Future. And I thought, oh, wait, what would Biff be doing here? And then I realized, wait, he's got the sports almanac. So here it is, 1980, the underdog, ultimate underdog story. He knows who's going to win. Of course he's going to be there. Of course he's... And look, you go back and look at these headlines. 
He's got all this Russian stuff, stuff about Khrushchev here. He's taking on the Russians. Way to go, Biff. He'd, and then I realized that uh, this is not uh, the same actor who played Biff. I was confusing the actor that's in this movie, Noah Emmerich, with the actor who played Biff, Tom Wilson. And so all that kind of just fell apart. But I did go and look and see what was he doing in 2004 when Miracle was made. And it turns out he's a voice actor in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. So there you go. I'm not going to hold that against this trailer. We're going to move on to the scoring. This trailer has its ups and downs, but mostly its ups. It's another good example, I think, of a trailer's internal narrative structure. And this means that the trailer actually starts with a setup to introduce the characters and the stakes, and then it moves into a section dedicated to the conflict. And then it jumps actually to the third act and sets up a final tease for us. And each section is really sort of punctuated by a music change and teases just enough to get you interested. I think you could argue that they actually show too much, and maybe they do, but I think sometimes when you're dealing with a true story, especially a nationally known true story like this, I think you can get away with a bit of that. And I think they walk that tightrope here. The Aerosmith song in, in the middle section there is a great choice and really gets you pumped up. It's... Nice work on that front. Good music choices, uh, good work with the narrative. I think it fails a bit in, on the style side. Not fails, but it's uh, kind of a basic style. It's, it's just a little too by the numbers. It's a little flat. Overall, though, it's an effective marketing piece. It really makes you want to see or relive, I guess, an exciting moment in sports history. So overall, we're going to give the trailer for... Miracle, a score of 6.9 out of 10. And let's see where that looks, uh, how that looks on the leaderboard for the year. This is our classic leaderboard. It looks like it's going to take the number three spot. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and that bell button. That really helps us out. And we want to hear from you. So let us know what you think. Did we get this right? Did we get it wrong? Tell us in the comments below. And that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the Olympics, everybody. We'll see you next time.